100 snaps last week. And they played them all. The senior Kyle Shermer will take over from the eight yard line for his Vandy offense. Scans and throws and complete. It's a short game. It'll be marked down at the. Terry bashing game. Blasting game is the back as Shermer rolls it and throws to the sideline. It is caught. Needing to get to the 18. Four man rush. Shermer throws complete. The catch and run will move the chains. It is Kalijah Lipscomb. Kyle's story. His background. This is 31st consecutive start. 33rd of his career. Blasting game. So there's that all the natural things you would say about the coach of a son. Son of a coach, I should say. Here's his throw complete to the tight end Pinkney and Jared Pinkney. And the importance of knowing the offense inside and out. We get a little wheel route from Pinkney from a tight end position, and he slips through because of the play action. The defense came up. Pinkney's a big play Two first downs for Vandy. This is their opening drive of the game. 40, one of the three backs they will use. Blasting game. And Catherine told you the story of the former Vandy fullback coaching against his alma mater today. Here's Keyshawn Vaughn trying to get to the edge. And one of the Commodore drop. And Shermer is pressured. The throw is complete, but no first down. Drew Tranquil comes to. Still looking for his first winning season at Vandy. He's trying to get a top 10 win. For the first time, 0 7 against top 10 teams. Final minute of this opening quarter of the second drive begins with Cam Johnson coming around the edge and saying hello. So, a solid game last week against Ball State. Likely the final play of this opening quarter. Keyshawn Vaughn trying to get his balance, did a good job too. Road next week for Wake Forest. And Stanford in here two weeks from tonight. Could be a top 10 matchup. Shermer is hit. Ball is out. It's free. And it's recovered. Mine gets all the credit, but Mom did so much along the way, and an athlete as well. Both so instrumental in his growth in the season. And the Irish won that game 14-7. See if Vandy can get a first down. They will end more on the run to the outside by Keyshawn Vaughn. Vanderbilt has had three three and outs until that first down. We'll try to get them into a rhythm with... Elijah lives in football, and now he is starring for the Irish in corner. Shermer in the middle. Good pass to Lipscomb on the run. And Love makes a save. Aiden got the inside release, and I thought the play was dead. He ran an inside route. Beautiful throw. Back to Lipscomb again. It's three in a row for their top receiver, and they are going to their Catherine. 4,173 yards on the Pats practice squad. Shermer looking where you were, Doug. It's covered. He goes the other way, and it's caught. Right to the goal line, but free by Gilman. It's loose, and it will be recovered for a touchback by Love. He's sure of what he's seeing. Playing his third different position from Fort Wayne, Indiana. He and Tavon Coney taking the... Second and three for Kyle Shermer. Looking deep, looking middle, and it's complete. Into Notre Dame territory for their big tight end, Jared Pink. First half, but if Vanderbilt can put a score in the end zone, it's a ball game. Shermer has that pass rejected and incomplete at the running back spot. Fourth different running back we've seen today. Crawford helps pick up the pressure as Shermer fires high and incomplete. Rough piece two and senior quarterback. Seeing five on the line. The Irish bring three, drop eight. Shermer rips it in the middle. Terrific catch down to the three and it's. First and goal, eight seconds, one timeout. And Kyle Shermer popping in the end zone here. He's looking, got to get rid of it. He throws, it's incomplete. It was a touchdown. Four years starter. Dad, the head coach of the New York Giants, back to work in a good rhythm at the end of the first half, trying to pick up where he left off. And Lipscomb got right by him. Turning up field for that run for the 34 yard. And Vandy, four good options at running back. Time to run with blasting game. Watch Julian Aquara at the left end for Notre Dame defensively. Third and five. Shermer out of his hands quick. On time. On target at a first down. Surnames that uh, Commodore fans got familiar with last year. A little play pass on first down. And he's covered deep. So Shermer just uses his outlet. From 
the 23. Vaughn is spinning, and he spun his way to a big loss. Every is pretty solid. They need to get to the 13. Shermer has Lipscomb, but Lipscomb is going to be tackled. His 40th this year in the Tour Championship race, just outside. But he shot 59 in a round and won the tournament in Greensboro earlier this year. Really proud Nashville guy and Vandy alum. Great to see. Vandy's not been able to run the ball. They figured that out. Now they're doing it in the air. There's Shermer. Complete again. The crosser is Chris Pierce. So that is second on the all-time Notre Dame list. Got Clarence Ellis, great name from the late 60s. Third and eight, under pressure. Shermer is complete. What a job by Lipscomb. Kind of scary it is. The guys are supremely talented, but you understand how they can make those one-end catches. Here is Shermer, looking deep. End zone shot, double coverage down there. It is going to be intercepted. They brought it back out, so it's going to be down at the one. But Troy Craig Jr. Mir Abdul Rahman hits the snapper, John Shannon. First down in Notre Dame territory, Kyle Shermer's got a wide open receiver and a good move in the open field. It's down to both Pinkney and Bowler starting up the field. Pinkney's clearing it out. It looked like Bowler was going to take it inside. Great move. Double move to the outside. Easy throw and catch. And then something after the catch. Momentum has clearly swung here since late second quarter. For the Irish were up 16-0. Vanderbilt has... Shermer hands big running lane inside the five into the thongs the back and here comes Vaughn up the middle and touch touchdown Jersey Mike's above the rest get a good look at that Notre Dame secondary here against the Vanderbilt team that's done a good job in the air first down run sorry blasting game got out of a tackle by Jalen Elliott got across the 35 and the pile From the 39, Kyle Shermer. Time gets to his tight end, Sam Dobbs. We'll have another first down. It's across midfield and still going. Into Notre Dame. There's the slant. Broken up. Incomplete. The line. What do you think, Terry? Thinks yes. He thinks yes. Yes. First and 10 on the 26. Here's Shermer. Look at that quick slant. It is caught again by Lipscomb to the two. Comes second and ridiculously long here. It's at the 22-yard line. Second and six. Shermer asking for it and firing. Complete in traffic with Lipscomb. Galen Hayes dropped off his defense. But his love of Notre Dame started as a kid growing up in Nashville. His dad brought him to a game here. How can he beat his alma mater here? Big down 32. Shermer hits it, throws it, is caught. Picked in a big old tight end. Going to get in there. Touchdown. Right away, it is uncovered off the line of scrimmage. Coming off the line of scrimmage right at the field, so he's looking for the ball the whole time. Shermer knew he was going to be open, but had to wait until there was a, a clean window, and he's standing in the pocket. What a job of staying in the pocket, keeping his focus up the field, and waiting for it to happen. Hanging on, hoping her son can engineer a big comeback drive to win the game. Vandy starts from their own 20, and on the ground, blasting game sneaks through. And they're on play action, will throw, and throw complete. To the midfield strike for Pinkney, the tight end again. He's lined up on the end and end game. Notre Dame's showing heat when they bring it. They bring four. Pressure up the middle. Shermer's throw is incomplete. Looking for over here in the slot with the freshman Houston Griffith cover again. The one to that side again. Blasting game gets hit hard. Harder to get man coverage on. Fourth and four. Four options to throw. Shermer fires. It is caught. Sensation drive. 